Hey guys, how you doing? Bringer here. I'm starting a new series or playlist today called the CIC Room, also known as Combat Information Center, where I'll be posting guides, tips, new mechanics in the game, and other important info. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you want to be part of the CIC Room, slap the subscribe button. So um, today we're going to be going over the new legendary effect for will to rebuild special effect adds extra skills during battle repair rate of repair speed per second would be um, plus 0.5 percent of your max HP auto repair when your HP is equal to or less than 20 percent so that's going to activate any number of times as long as you're within range of an ally and you're under 20% hit points you're going to be healing every second and for my Bismarck here of 69,200 hit points that's going to take effect at 13,840 hit points so if you're under that you just and you got it activated with an ally nearby, you're healing every second. And we're going to demonstrate it later on in this video. But we'll go through the whole video here. Yeah, so what do you guys think about the new effects on the legendary abilities? Promoting team play? In a way? But yeah, at the end you're really going to get to see this ability be demonstrated. I went into this battle testing. Wanting to test this ability. And we do. So right now I'm just heading over towards A. See if we can't get shots on the Gato. Let me get a little hit on him. I think the new effects are pretty cool myself. I've been using the um One that lets your consumables reload faster on like Belfast and stuff. That's really nice. Fiji. Get get access to your smoke cloud faster. For your consumables. Got the Sinop over here. Not sure why I popped my sonar there. I, I thought maybe that destroyer that had just been spotted could have slung torps over this way, so I was just being safe. That guy needs intelligence data. Shoot at the Bismarck. Get a little bit of damage. Nothing he cares about right now. get respotted start taking some damage there but that's okay I was like in this battle I was like oh, I want to I want to get low while I got teammates alive so I can test his ability out but I don't want to throw the game away just because I'm testing something I didn't want to purposely throw the game to my team <clears throat> I didn't want to test it to get spots. I wanted to see how it would it could perform in a real game. The 
first game it happened to me, I was like, uh, I had kind of forgotten about it. And I'm like, why am I healing? So we already burned one of our five heals that I have on this ship. I freaking love Bismarck, by the way. Shooting at the Sinop again, he cloaks. I still shoot at him. So this Bismarck is just pushing through B like a beast. Got the destroyer there, I don't I'm not loaded. C's not looking too healthy right now. Our battleship's pushed way over all the way to the east side. So I'm going for resets here on Bismarck. Slow down that that B cap capture. Get a reset. We take A. But we're already losing here. Down three ships to their one. It is nice that their destroyer is dead. <clears throat> so I'm just checking around me. We start taking some heat from these two guys over here. So my plan here was to push up against this island as close as I can get to it. And hope they can't shoot over it while I engage his Bismarck that's looping around to her rear end here. Secondary start opening up. I do have it spec'd out right now for secondary build. They don't do a whole lot, but they can if you get a cruiser or destroyer that gets too close to you. Expect out for secondaries and for tank and max heals. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're on fire again. I think we let this one burn. We aim high because he's moving out. You just see his secondary fire missing us hitting the mountain behind me. I was like, what is that? Oh. Can we get the kill? A loaded heat there. To secure the kill. I wasn't risking it. So now I'm just, you know, double checking the map. I mean, I've already been watching it, but... I see we're down where we're losing big time here. <clears throat> Got a fire cooking, there's no way to put it out. By the time I get my repair party up, it's not gonna be worth putting the fire out. Start creeping up slowly. I know we still got these two or three battleships over here to my right flank or south of B. Gato gets a shot over the mountain at me. Wasn't happy about it. <clears throat> We're just taking our time here. I'm considering what, what we got. What we have left compared to them. And I'm waiting for this Geniza now behind me to hopefully move up with me. Because, like I said, my whole plan here is to test this 
legendary effect out. <clears throat> I'll burn another regular heal there. Like I said, I'm not going to just throw the game. I'm in this to try and win. Put some shots on the ghetto. Get a decent hit on him. Secondary is doing some work in Eisenhower. I just have to. I gave up on him. Looked like he was just sitting back there, possibly crashed or something. So I'm like, all right, we're just gonna sit here, bow tank. I'm hoping that Sinop over there to my right doesn't have shots at me. I'm sure he does. I stop here because I don't want this um, Japanese cruiser to pop out and um, torpedo me. Lose eyes on the cruiser. You got one heal left. Still a big chunk of my life. I could heal back up to over half. The ability activates. That means that nice now has gotten up to me. It's act. I say it's activated, but it's not working because I haven't reached that 20% HP, which happens at 13,840 hit points with this build. Now, if the way I've seen this ability work in a couple games, like I said, as long as you're under that 20% cap, it says add it or below it. So if you if you somehow magically land perfectly on it, I guess you'll get one heal tick. I don't know, but uh, I could I just see some games in the future, man. If you can get a buddy with you, just brawling. People start pushing on you thinking you're going to die and you're just constantly healing. Which is doable too. I mean, you bow tank. Right here, I'm just trying to keep my armor to everybody. I know I got some ships off to my left side here. <clears throat> Down to two ships. Catch a fire. I switched it in my Yoko or Miyoko because I was hoping for a lucky hit here and just boom, but hits a little high right above the citadel there. So we just get damage. Dodge the torpedoes that we knew were coming. Alright, so you see our hit points. We're at 14,184. We've lost range on the Gneisen now, though. We're not in that 2 meter thing. Boom, we get a hit. We're at 5,000 HP. I'm just full speed ahead. I'm trying to get in range of them to activate it. We get hit here. I'm going to zoom in and slow it down for you so you can see it. 542 hit points we get down to. Ability activates. Watch the healing. Already back up to 2k. 3,000. We get hits. We're still healing. Still healing. Just trying to keep my bow towards the main threats here right now. Best I can. Put shots on Wichita. I was hoping to delete them. We don't. Nice and now Torps, uh, Iowa here, I believe it is. Yep. We're still healing, guys. Look at this. I'm back up to 9,000 at this point. 10,000. We get hit hard. Still healing. Still. 
still healing here. So right here, they're unfortunately going to ram each other. The Ganizen now would have stayed alive. Now look at this. You still get about five to six ticks after you he died or you go out of range of activating your ability. You're still healing. So it stays active for about five, six seconds before it fades. So my healing stops here. I'm on fire. And we go down. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and be part of the CSE room. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the new legendary effects. See you in the next video.